this cold traffic person doesn't know who you are. They've never heard of your business um, because if they heard of you, then they'd be a little bit warmer. You know what I mean? Hey, what's up? This is Jason Drone. Today we're going to talk about ad funnels or Facebook ad funnels to be a little bit more specific. Now, an advertising funnel is interesting because what an advertising funnel does is it it understands that most that your traffic is cold. I mean, they're cold when they first see an ad. They're cold when they first experience your brand. And the the ad funnel, the advertising funnel, warms them up. So and we build all of our ad we build all of our advertising for our clients this way so basically there is always a set of ads that is cold traffic so that is cold, uh, cold traffic your cold traffic audience is that those who who they don't know who you are they've never heard of you um in the facebook world they aren't necessarily even searching for the solution that you provide they're not going to Google and typing in a keyword phrase, if you know what I mean, because Facebook traffic is all interruption based. Um, in the Google world, they are going to Google and searching for the keyword phrase that you are advertising for or that is related to your business. So that is, you know, kind of one of the differences between Google and Facebook and, and how they are similar in the cold traffic sense. Um, but this cold traffic person doesn't know who you are. They've never heard of your business um, because if they heard of you, then they'd be a little bit warmer. You know what I mean? The way the advertising funnel works is that they see an ad and then they see an ad as a cold traffic prospect, a cold prospect. And then they take some sort of an action. That action might be watching a video that is 50 seconds or 50% uh, or more, 25% or more. You know, it might be clicking on the ad and going to your website. It might be opting in for a report for a lead magnet. It might be just full out, you know, buying something. Um, but that cold prospect is in their action, warming up to you, warming up to your brand. So that is what the advertising funnel is all about. Because when we warm them up, then we can do additional things with them. Um, so after they do something, they are no longer a cold prospect. They move past that cold traffic ad, and now they are seeing a retargeted ad because they did something. They watched a video, they clicked the link, they landed on a page, they opted in, they bought something. So they are no longer cold. They are warm. And because they are warm, they are seeing a different type of ad from you. So on Facebook, it might be a welcome back ad or it might be, hey, you left this in your shopping cart, like a shopping cart abandonment ad. It might be telling them about a product, you know, that they might be interested in that they didn't already purchase. So there's lots of ways that you can carry out the retargeted piece. One of the things that we really like to do is once they move from cold traffic to warm to a retargeted ad, then we also acknowledge that they were probably getting warmer or colder within our sphere of influence. So we might have a retargeted ad that shows a lead magnet for days one through four. So if they land on our website, then they, for this four day period, they see something on our, they see a, a video view ad talking about a lead magnet. And then if they don't do anything, then days five through eight, we, we do, we give them something else. Maybe it's a checklist or maybe it's a, uh, I don't know, uh, we're promoting a different product or promoting a different newsletter or whatever. And then day nine through 13, we do something a little different with the understanding that they're getting colder. You know, the longer they go without doing something, they are getting colder. They are moving past what we do you know because a, a buyer is only really they're hot usually for a very short amount of time for a very very small window it might be a week it might be three days it might be three weeks but they usually buy and consume a bunch of stuff in the same period of time 
and then they move on. Um, oftentimes, you know, like think about your own experience. Let's say you're looking for a piece of software, like a, I don't know, a video hosting platform. Let's say, chances are you recognize the need that you need a video hosting platform like a Wistia or Vimeo or whatever. So you do a little bit of research, you find all the, the people in the market, and that might not have even been triggered by you internally, but by an ad. You know, maybe you saw a Wistia ad and then you're like, wait, that kind of makes sense. Like I, I need to keep my videos private. So who else has this technology? And then you do a little bit of research and then you buy and you do free trials and everything. But you've come to your decision in the first week or two, typically. You've settled on one, you've canceled everybody else. And now you are done, you've moved on, you're, you're past that. You know, so you might still open some emails and do something, but you're, you're kind of done signing for free trials until you're dissatisfied with like a Wistia and then you're moving on to something else. So that's typically how buyers react. That's how your buyers react. You know, so understanding that they're cold and then they're, they're warm and then they're leaving you and you kind of keep them warm as they go is paramount to this advertising funnel. So recognizing that you need to have different types of ads for how warm somebody is really, I mean, it, it's important. Now Facebook is a little bit different when you're doing these advertising funnels because A, you can do a lot with video. So video, you get really, you get cheap clicks. Video, you get, you can add video views. Um, you can do video views campaigns and then target people based on how much of a video somebody watches, which is really, really super important for, you know, this momentum and moving somebody through this advertising funnel. Um, but it all comes back to the Facebook pixel. So on the Facebook, you know, you, you add the Facebook pixel to your website and then that pixel tracks what pages they visit, where they go on your website, um, what the conversion events are, you know, which ads are sending you leads or sending you sales or ultimately sending conversions. So the pixel is really, really important in this entire makeup, you know, and that's how we actually set up, you know, the one, the day one through four campaign, the day five through eight campaign. We actually go in and say, okay, if somebody is brand new to this audience, because of the pixel, show them this ad. If they are five or less days, or if they're between five and eight days, then show them this ad. If they're between nine and 13 days, show them this ad. It's all based on the pixel. It's all based on the, the lookalike audience. But then what we do is we create the lookalike audiences, you know, of our most successful segment of folks. You know, so at first, if we have no data whatsoever, then we're creating a lookalike audience based on um, the people who watch like 50% or more of a video or 75% or more of a video. Um, once we, then the, if we get a significant population of people who hit a web page or opt in for a report or buy, that's always the next lookalike audience that we're, that we're, we're engaging with. We we're always creating a new lookalike audience based on our best set of data. And then we're moving, you know, we're moving all of the ads to that lookalike audience. So we're always optimizing the audiences and letting Facebook know exactly who we want to get in front of. So all of this stuff is really, really important for your own advertising funnel. Um, now the ad funnel itself, as it's moving prospects through, needs to tie in with your sales funnel. The sales funnel, your landing pages, your automated webinars, your VSLs, all of that stuff, you know, really comes out to party in these, in these Facebook ads. We like video a lot. We do a lot of video views campaigns. If you would like to jump on the phone and talk about your advertising funnel, your Facebook ads, your Google ads, your retargeting, you know, all of that stuff, go to doneforyou.com forward slash start and fill out the little form and then book a call with us. And we'll jump on the phone and give you an action plan. Talk to about your business, talk about your products and everything else. And if you like this video, make sure to share it, like it, comment, and uh, that way you know whenever we put out something new. And I'll talk to you soon. All right, thanks.